Hope you're having a good day today. Thank you for joining me for another brief look into God's Word, another hymn. We're going to be looking at the account of Mary Magdalene today. And our hymn is the hymn, Tarry With Me. Tarry with me, O my Savior, for the day is passing by. See the shades of evening gather, and the night is drawing nigh. like to look in John 20 today as Peter and John. Let me let me back it up a little bit. This is where we were yesterday. As they depart to their own homes, John 20, but Mary stood outside by the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she stooped, stooped down and looked into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head, the other at the feet where the body of Jesus had lain. And then they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they've taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they've laid him. Now when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, and she turned and said to him, Rabboni, which is to say, teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things to her. I, I, will, I will freely admit, there are, there are some things about the whole resurrection account that are difficult to to understand um that's okay that there and i i think some of it goes to there there is emotions involved so much emotion involved and they were incredulous about the things they were they were seeing and it's just this is unbelievable what is happening and you might also think about, we'll, we'll throw another one in there. There was a massive earthquake that morning. We'll throw another one in there. There were multiple resurrections at that time. That's what one of the accounts, one of the Gospels speaks, speaks to that. There's so much going on. There's so much going on. On top of the fact that... They had seen him crucified just days before this. They had seen his side pierced. They had seen the blood and the water come out. When there's darkness over all the land and it's an unnatural, there is so much going on. And so that's probably why some things on the surface, it's like, I don't understand how this makes sense. You weren't there. And you would have been running around like a chicken with your head cut off if you were there. And some of that is, is probably what's going on and what makes it difficult to, to understand exactly the order of, of things and why things are being said, certain things. But anyway, to look at this account, and we'll, we'll start with this. The angels say, why are you weeping? And then Jesus says, Woman, why are you weeping? The announcement has already been made from, from the parallel accounts. There's a reason that Peter and John came to the tomb. 
it's because the announcement's already been made. Been made. It's like, didn't you believe the first announcement? And what must you say for her to still be weeping? As I, again, there's so many, so much going on. Didn't you believe? You might notice. As it as it comes down a little bit further. Oh, it's actually in the parallel accounts, I think, that I'm thinking of. But their their journey of faith, let's put it like that. And it's like, you know, he told you this was going to happen. Why are you weeping? The time for the time for weeping was at the cross. This isn't the time for weeping. This is the time to rejoice. Because our Lord has overcome death. Why are you weeping? What are you scared of? What are you sorrowful about? And so, we might think about that idea. There's, Of course, there's still times in our lives where we weep, but we do not sorrow as others who have no hope. Why are you weeping? Back to the account. And this, this is the thing. You know, what she says, They've taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they've laid him. She's talking to angels there. You know, that sentence that she says in verse 13, because they've taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they've laid him. She has looked into the tomb, and she sees two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. And she's like, they've taken away my Lord. I do not know where they've laid him. She is talking to angels. And these are not, again, here she is, and it's just, it's just amazing. There were two angels in in white. Okay? She's talking to angels. And she's about, we know what she's about to say to Jesus. I'll go get the body. Um you you we <laughs> you gotta appreciate her spirit. But it's like, you know, let's say the soldiers did take away the body of Jesus. Uh, you know what the angels, do you really think you can do anything that the angels couldn't do? How many angels came to Sodom and Gomorrah? Two. For all I know, it could have been these same two angels in the tomb. And Mary's like, oh, they've taken away the body. If that is true, the angels could take care of it very easily. She's talking to angels. So much going on here. So much. And then, of course, you have who she thinks is the gardener. Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She's supposing him to be the gardener. Sir, if you've carried away, tell me where you've laid him, and I will take him away. And he says to her, Mary. And she turned and said, Rabboni. Jesus says, Do not cling to me. I'm not yet ascended to my father. What he's saying is, I'm not staying here. And I can assure you, Mary wanted him to stay. Mary Magdalene wanted him to stay. But it was not to be. Do you remember the situation Mary Magdalene was in before Jesus came? She was full of the devil. Seven demons, I believe, if I remember the number correctly. Seven demons. She was full of the devil. 
And then Jesus came. And what is she? She's full of love. She's full of love. Of all the people for the Lord to appear to first, the first one that's recorded anyway, it's not Peter and it's not James, it's not John. Why didn't the Lord appear to them? This is right after that account. What? They've gone home. He doesn't appear he didn't appear to them yet. not yet. It's Mary Magdalene. From going going from full of the devil to full of love. Why are you weeping? Tarry with me, O oh my Savior. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.